Former South Sudanese Mines Minister Taban Dengai has been sworn in as the country's first vice president. The swearing-in follows a vacancy created by Raik Masha, who fled the capital after fighting broke out between his troops and those of President Kier earlier this month. The new first vice president has promised to end the struggle of South Sudanese, especially those sheltering in camps. I love you all my people. I struggle to bring you out from the suffering you are in the United States. You don't deserve to be there. You don't deserve to be displaced in your own country. Salva Kiir, who issued an ultimatum last Friday for his estranged vice president to return to Juba, said attempts to reach out to Mashar have so far proven unsuccessful. I have been appealing to him to come back to Juba so that we continue with the implementation of the agreement. Of course, this agreement cannot be personalize that if X is away, the agreement will be held until when that person comes. That cannot happen. Tabang Dengai, who was the chief negotiator for Masha's SPLM in opposition during the peace talks, was appointed to the position last Saturday by some officials of the South Sudanese opposition.